Hello and welcome back to Travel Day. In this video we're going to demonstrate how to quickly create SketchUp animations using the Scene Manager. Here we have our beach house that we created in the tutorial series. We've used Save As in the file menu and saved it as animations. The first thing to do in this process is to optimise our scenes, starting off with level 1. We get the scene set to a nice viewpoint, then go to the Layers menu and disable the guideposts and enable text. Now we go to the View menu and enable shadows. Then update the scene. Now we go over to the level 2 scene and do the same thing and fine tune our floor plans. Now we're going to open up the scene manager which can be found in the windows tab under scenes and we go through and delete the scenes that we don't want. We just click on the minus button here and choose yes. So we delete most of them and just keep level 1 and level 2, keep both the floor plans and the present scene. Now I'm going to delete all the unused modules, we don't need them. And I'm also going to delete the grid. If we select the grid, right click and choose unlock, we can then delete it. And now I'm going to enable scene transitions. So we go to the Windows menu and choose Model Info. In the Animation panel, we tick Enable Scene Transitions and set it to 3 seconds. This will create a SketchUp animation between the scenes. So we'll just give it a quick test run. And that's looking okay for starters, but we need to make some adjustments and add a few more scenes. We'll begin with this present scene and just spin it around a bit. I can see here some text which we don't need for external views, so I'm just going to disable text in the layers menu. Now we go to the scenes window and hit the plus button to add a new scene. SketchUp automatically gives it a name or we can rename it in the scene manager. Now we just spin around and create some more scenes. Now we need to rearrange our scenes in some sort of order. We use these arrows in the scene manager to change the order. So we can just move them up or down. And so that's looking okay. Could do with some fine tuning of camera angles and shadows. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Now, to record an animation, we go to the File menu, choose Export Animation, and then select Video. I just use the default settings, which are perfect for YouTube. You can look in the Options area in the bottom right corner for more settings. So uh, let's take a look at it. If it's all too hard or if you just don't have the time, please feel free to contact us at Treble D. We have very modestly priced consultants who can help you out with construction drawings or any aspect of the design process. Cheers.